Hello, how are you? We've got problems. We've got big problems. Mainly with this door. The key fob for the central locking is locking everything else, bar this door. So, it's gonna be one or two things. It's gonna be a split in the cable, or it's gonna be the actual actuator itself in the door that pops the pin up and down. We'll get to that in a minute. I'll just show you what I mean. If you just watch, This lock here, when I lock the car, doesn't move. Nothing. Everything else locks. But that refuses to move. So, we need to get... And don't judge me for the scabby door panel. Yes, I did try and paint it. No, it didn't turn out very well. It's a door panel. You know, get over it. Right, so if you've never had your T4 door off before, it's dead easy. Take your door handle off. Obviously, take your pin out. There's a screw just in there. You take this retainer pin in. You pop the top off for your handle. Two screws in there. The door handle comes off. So, we'll start off. I've got different handles on mine because I just wanted to make it fancy so let's get the door off and we'll go from there Right, so once you've got all that off, don't forget to take your uh, that out. I couldn't remember what it was called. Um, once you've got the retaining pin, screws holding the handle in, and the screw in the end, then the door just lifts up the panel. This might pop off. Don't worry, put that back in a minute. One door. The van was yellow. It will have something to do with this. This is the actuator. Basically, this goes up and down, which controls the pin in the door when you turn the remote on and off. So that goes up, unlock it, down to lock it. I think there's a problem with the one that's in there, so we're going to take that out, leave it on the loom, and then just... In fact, no, we'll just put this one on just to see if it works when the door's shut, and then we can go from there. The old one sits just inside here. Take these two screws out. So there's the actuator. It just hooks on there. They're a bit fiddly to get off, but if you can hear that, doesn't sound good. Hmm, that's not a good sign. That snapped straight away, so that tells me that that didn't have a very good connection. It doesn't look the best of connections anyway, so let's clean this up. Let's strip these wires off, and then we can go from there and see what's going on. So what we're going to do to test is we're just going to bear these wires. See, that's just snapped and brought out no cable. Knows that. Has the cable bomb funny. The whole thing is just snapping, which shows me that this cable is not the greatest of cables. The cold might have gotten to it. We'll see if the uh, see that's just snapping all the way through, and it's not actually showing me any cable. So we might have to replace this whole piece of cable because it doesn't look like the actual cable is working properly. There we go, that's given us a clean break in the cable and to leave the cable inside. What we're going to do is we're going to solder these up in a minute, but for now, we're just going to wire the actual actuator up 
just to test if it's working or not. So we've got the new activator, actuator, activator, I don't know what they're called. Bear the cables off, put them both back together, and we're going to see if the actual central locking works. That's attached, make sure the wires don't touch each other. We're just going to press the key fob and see if this works. It might be the cable further down in the loom, just keep them away from each other. But we're going to press the central locking and see if this raises. We have movement, so that's locked now. Open. And locked. Open. And locked. So, it was either the brittle cables further down the line, or it was the actual activator itself. Let's just undo these. And we can test the old one, just to see if it was the old one or we do need to replace the actual thing don't forget if you were going to go to a garage over this the charger a fee to bring the car in or the van they'd also charge you an hour's minimum labour and then parts but it's a job that you can do yourself right we're just going to test the old one to see if that's working See, the old one works. So it's pointless changing the old one. Or do we change the old one? Yeah, we'll change the old one. We'll put a new one on. Just because it's old. This one's working a little bit better. We can throw that in the space pile. They're only cheap anyway, but a garage would charge you, you know, probably something like £100 to bring the van in, check out what the problem is, fit the new actuator and send it away. Whether it's a job you can get, you know, a part like this for about seven or eight pounds on Amazon or eBay. You'll probably get them in pairs or fours. I'm gonna take this bracket off there. We're gonna get we'll put the new one on and then we're gonna fit it all back together, solder the wires, heat shrink the wires, make it all tidy, put the door back on, and go from there. Right, so this is where the wiring loom is joined up. I'm just gonna take this tape off if we can find the end. Pull these wires back. And then we should have two nice fresh wires to solder up. And then we can put two new wires, go into the new actuator, which will control a lot. And jobs are good. Right, so these are the only cables I've got. They're a little bit thicker than what we'd normally use for this type of job because it only needs thin wire. It's only get the 12 volt. 12 volt? Volt? Volt. So you get the 12 volt current through it. Right, so we got our cable. Now we're going to use this stuff. Just heat shrink. Put the heat shrink over. Get yourself a lighter. Give it a warm. And then that has held the two wires together. So we're going to put a few of them down there just to make a little bit of a loom, just keeps it all together, nice and safe. Right, so that loom is pretty all right, so it's gonna to stay together. A few cable ties on the inside, and jobs are good. Right, we're just gonna solder the ends up, just so there's a bit of solder on each one. I've just covered the whole thing in some electrical tape just to give it a little bit of extra. The rod that's inside is a little bit of a fiddly job, but it just hooks on. Can't actually get the camera in to show you the actual rod itself, but it's just a hook. Bit fiddly, but well, it is what it is. Now we just gotta put our screws back in place. Ah, 
That opens. And it locks. Jobs are good. So these things are really cheap. I don't know what they call them. Actuators, activators. I don't know. I can't remember. But it's one of them. Now, for you to take this into a garage, it's going to cost you quite a few bob. You know what I mean? It's I don't reckon you're going to get much change out of £100. You can get these on Amazon. You can get them on eBay. There is different lengths in the tops. Thing. So just make sure you get the right ones for yours. It's an easy job. It's nothing that you can't do. No, it's nothing that you can't do. It's not you've just seen me do. Well, I'm just an idiot. But if you are finding an idiot like me doing jobs like this kind of interesting, subscribe. It's down there somewhere. Little button, red button. It's free. Do us a favour. Subscribe. Hit the like button. Leave us a comment in the comment section below. If this has helped you in some way, if this has saved your ass in some way, because there will be someone out there about to take the T4 or the van into a garage to get this repaired, don't do it. This is going in the bib because it's crap. Till the next video, see you soon.